What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of error or issue you're currently having with Ghost Recon Wildlands. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the window symbol, clicking onto the settings symbol and navigating right onto update and security. We want you to stick around Windows update and I know guys it's gonna sound a little bit basic but trust me, it will help you a lot. I want you to simply update every single drive you could possibly update. And you're going to start with Windows. And as you can see, you also need to update Windows. So we'll do this straight after this video. You're going to end this task once you did it. And hit your application task or, or browser for your graphics card. And download the latest version of your drivers of your uh, graphics card driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Once you're finished with that, take your launcher shortcut for me, it's Steam, or your game shortcut on your desktop. You're going to right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Click onto compatibility and simply copy my settings so that quickly run through it. Enable run this program compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as enable, as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. I want you to reset your PC and yeah. Then you will double click it and launch a game with the launcher, launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys that's it for the video, I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah guys I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way I hope you guys have one of late, see you at the next one and bye.